Hey there gang and welcome to your first step in becoming a React and Redux ninja. Alright then, so I do have another React course on this channel, but it's getting quite old now, about two years old, a bit out of date, and it's pretty short as well. So I thought this was a good time to totally rebuff that, do a more in-depth and more up-to-date React tutorial series, and it's also going to include Redux as well. So first of all, what is React? Well, basically it's just a JavaScript library and it was created by Facebook. And it's also used by Netflix and Instagram as well on their sites at the minute. And we use React to create JavaScript driven dynamic web applications. And I suppose in that regard, it could be compared with other libraries such as Angular and Vue.js. So that's React. Now, Redux is a layer, an extra layer on top of React, and that's going to help us with things like state management of our app. And by state management, I mean management of data in the app or UI state in the app. Is something open, a pop-up open, or is it closed? Is the menu open or closed? That kind of thing. And we're going to learn all about Redux in the second half of this playlist. So exactly what will we learn or what hopefully will we learn? Well, first of all, we're going to start off with the React basics. We're going to look at components, events, templates, props, and forms. So the kind of meaty stuff that forms a lot of the core functionality of React. Then when we've got the basics down, we're going to move on to the React router. And we'll take a look at how we can set up different routes, route parameters, redirects, and all that kind of fun stuff. And then finally, we're going to take a look at Redux as well for our state management. We're going to see what stores are and how we can interact with that store with actions and reducers. And along the way, we are going to be making a couple of little projects as well. Now, incidentally, after this course, I'm also going to be releasing a full React, Redux and Firebase web application playlist. And that is going to be up as soon as this one's finished, this course, so that we can put together everything that we've learned into one cool app. And I'm going to show you a little preview of that now. So this is what we'll be building in the next playlist right after this with React, Redux and Firebase. This is what we're going to be working towards eventually and it's complete with user authentication so we can sign in. Um, and also we're going to be using the Firestore to store documents and also cloud functions to get notifications live as well. So we're going to be doing all of that after this playlist. But in this series, we're going to focus on a couple of smaller little applications with React, including a to-do list, and we can add to these, so I could say play games all day and we can delete these and when we delete them all, we get a little message saying no to do's left. So we're going to be creating that and another kind of miniature blog or news site as well. So we are going to be doing stuff in this series, but I wanted to show you that because that's ultimately what we're working towards, a full project with React, Redux and Firebase features as well. Now, as always, I'm going to give you all of the course files for this playlist. You're going to find them on the React Redux Complete playlist. And what you want to do is select your lesson from the branches drop down right here. So if you want to see, for example, lesson 20 code, just go to, well, there's no lesson 20 branch, but lesson 21, for example, and you will see that right here. And if you go into my app, we can see all of the different files that we have right there. Or if you prefer, you could just clone the repository to your desktop and browse that way. OK, so the link to this is going to be down below. And finally, I am going to be using Visual Studio Code to code up our projects during this series. I'd highly recommend it. Really good, really flexible. And you can download it free at code.visualstudio.com. That link is also going to be down below as well. And there are a couple of packages that have installed as well, which I want to show you later on when we come to actually coding that are for Visual Studio Code. They're really useful when we're working with React as well. So there we go, my friends. That's your introduction to this course. If you do enjoy the videos, please, my friends, do not forget to share, subscribe and like. And I'm going to see you in the very next one.